we're turning into a circus. And that's the last thing any of us want. A divided public safety committee debating the fate of a nine-person independent police review board in Allegheny County. Bethany Hallam is one of the most outspoken members in favor. We have waited far too long and it shouldn't take a death of a community member at the hands of a police officer to encourage council members or encourage the community to support this. But Hallam acknowledges the flaws with the bill now headed to county council for a vote. The only police force that would be mandated under this bill to fall under the Independent Police Review Board would be the Allegheny County Police. Each of the remaining 109 municipal police departments in the county would have to opt in. Their own councils determining whether or not they use the Independent Police Review Board. Well, I think it's a terrible bill, okay? I don't know where to begin to start. Sam DeMarco was one of three people to vote no to moving forward with the bill. He says the community hasn't even been given a chance to weigh in. Instead, he's proposing equipping all officers in the area with body cameras. He says that would tell the full story, not a review board with no authority. I'm not trying to overlook or forgive any inappropriate behavior, you know, on the, on the actions of a police officer. But if we had body cameras, and then we have that video. I reached out to the county executive's office about the possibility of a police review board. A spokesperson for Allegheny County tells Channel 11, the county executive has previously indicated his support for this effort and continues to be supportive. Like with any legislation, we will await to receive a final version for review of this specific bill. Representative Ed Ganey says trust between our police and community is lost and our focus must be earning it back through actions, not words. We got to demilitarize our police force. We have to be more community oriented. We have to stop over policing in, in, in neighborhoods. Ask the people. This police community relations, this is serious. And if we don't take it serious, we can't improve it. This bill for the potential for an independent police review board could go to county council for a vote as early as next Tuesday, April 27th. We will be sure to stay on top of the story and bring you any of the developments. Live on the North Shore, Amy Hudak, Channel 11 News.